Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very much. I'm very happy today to present you our uh, meeting room management solution. I think the majority of us understand in company when you don't have any system how difficult it is to, to book a room in a smooth way at least. So, yes, the management of meeting room, booking meeting rooms is really difficult in a, a lot of company and especially if you don't have a solution and you have a big size company and a, a big number of, of meeting rooms. So it has also a direct impact in internal processes and of course resources. Resources are costs. Empty rooms. Empty room just consuming electricity, heating, and of course if, um, if not used uh, could be just whether released or combined with other uh, meeting rooms, as well as uh, rooms which are used under their capacity. Uh, there's a certain cost and you can combine as well or move in another office, new, uh, new floors or other plans. And as well in these meeting rooms you have as well some expensive infrastructure like projector, uh, uh, video, telef uh, video conference system and so on. So it's required kind of, kind of high maintenance. So you can move them or even don't upgrade them if you don't need it anymore. And last but not least, time. Time of or losing time searching rooms and, and, uh, and avoiding as well quite a lot of errors when doing that. So it could be manual errors, uh, overbooking or, or, or even participants not showing off and the meeting room just keep busy for others. So our solution is answering at least the majority of these common issues. I will explain you uh, in the next page, I will show you some details about um, some, some main features. I will just show you now an overview about what we discuss about the solution, what are the advantage. When we speak about cost op optimization, um, yeah, the solution is helping facility manager to optimize the capacity of the rooms and, and generality the, the facility of that. Using an efficient report system is also very important to have a, a good picture about the usage of the rooms. That's, that's the reality of what's really existing and not on a, only on plan. So it will help facility manager to improve, uh, of course, the planning of these meeting rooms. There are also in the system, there are so automatic uh, process, automatic uh, process to help the employees for, for, uh, me, uh, for booking the meeting rooms. Okay, there is some two examples there, I'll come back later. And also improving efficiency of that, we use high beacon sensors and also we introduce gamification for a bit more engagement of the employees for that. The first and main Lexi feature of our system is the employees have on their mobile an overview of all available rooms which are available and this is depending of the requirement. So the employee just put the building where they want to, to have the rooms and the time and as well other, other uh, parameters like do they need projector, how many people do have to be inside. And then the system, by priority, just show you the rooms which are available. And even the room which are not available, so in case you can always click on, the on, the, on, the, on these rooms and you see who, were, who, are, who is sorry, the, the owner of the room, so you can still try to negotiate at least <laughs> to, to get the room. Okay. So this is, this is really important for... Uh, for uh, the, the user experience is very important to also make a wide usage of this application of the employee because of if you can have the best system, if it's not intuitive enough, they will not use it. So this is essential, essential in our solution. The reporting system I was telling is, is really important for the facility, facility manager to, uh, to really see what's happening in which room and who gets the reservation and so on. And this to take uh, the necessary 
measures to, uh, to, to modify the plan or to adapt the plan. So here's some example of uh, the report. It's just a screenshot with some one exam where we see the number of uh, a number of, of meeting rooms and how many meetings have been booked in the in this uh, in these rooms. So we had an example as well. We we just had uh, rooms in our offices because there's always an, inc uh, an increased demand of more spacing for rooms. And then we just see, thanks to the report, that it was just underused. So what we did, we just make better information to employee to push or to, 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 to show the availability of the rooms. And as well in the system, we put in a priority so that when employees searching for a room, they get that in a priority. So to correct this behavior. Also, the, generally, when the facility manager doesn't have a solution, what they do, they do some kind of forecast, estimation of the past, which is probably not absolutely the reality when they introduce a new floor, a new, new building. And, and this, of course, can result to bad planning. Okay? So, um, so with the solution, of course, I was saying, you can, you can create that. And we had a, an example as well in our company where uh, we had a new building, we moved a, a department, and we didn't have solutions, so they're just a facility manager, just use standard procedure for calculation and forecast. And after it, when we introduced a solution, we saw that this room was uh, underused. Um, and this was due to the fact that actually the department was a lot of, there were a lot of engineers inside, so they were just preferring having a webinar or a call to the desktop. So what we did, we just released the room for, for other activity. So simple that you can have the, the, the choice that was included. Some two interesting uh, featuring showing how the automatic processes and uh, what we do uh, with this, uh, what the solution is doing with that. So for example, uh, if you book a room and nobody is, is appearing, then the owner of a meeting gets a notification on his mobile asking, hey, you got, a, you got a room. Do you really want that because nobody appeared? You can cancel that or you can really confirm that because they were, well, we laid 10 minutes. You can deactivate, you can configure as well the time you want the notification. The same when you're going out of the rooms automatically. And here you see we have as well, an iPad in front of the room where we show all the time uh, if the room is occupied or available. It's also the um, a possibility for every participant to check in, not only with a mobile or they can do manual check-in to, to just confirm they are in. But when they're going out, uh, the system just see there is nobody anymore, so they just release a room. This is kind of usual every day. We book a room one hour and 80% or 70% of the time, the people uh, will leave before this one hour. So it just remain occupied for the rest of the time. And sometimes even worse, 20 minutes and one hour it is, is booked. So this is a, this is a way uh, of automatic process that the system uh, is, is doing. So in the past 30 days, for example, we were calculated that about an equivalent of 10 main days were saved by using the solution. Uh, which is an equivalent about what's 20% of all cancellation of meetings. And this automatically. There's another automatic process when you are in a meeting and you are close to the end. Uh, the, the meeting, if of course the, 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 the meeting room is still uh, um, uh, free after the meeting, propose to the owner if they want to extend the meeting automatically. So in just one click, you can decide, yeah, let's extend 15, 30 minutes. Without really complicated administration, stopping the meeting and the discussion, yeah, we have to be sure that we can stay in the room, etc. So this is kind of very easy. One click, I extend. Okay. We use, as I was saying, this uh, iBeacon sensor. Uh, based on Bluetooth, and of course, uh, being aware 
that uh, of the presence of the employee in relation to the meeting rooms, the system can really uh, take some decision about what are the, the appropriate measure or action to, to do for the employees. So it's, it's just make the life easier for all employees. So we had, as I told you before, there was this automatic check-in, automatic check-out. Another one is, which is, didn't, didn't write that in, uh, in, in this present, presentation down, sorry, is if you have a mobile and you just go in a meeting room, which is free, you just have a notification. Tell you, yeah, do you want this meeting? Do you want to book this meeting? Without knowing which kind of name you have or something like that. It's very easy. One click. Oh, yes, I just stay here. I just make a call or just, with, or just make a discussion with somebody. It's easy. No complicated administration. Bringing gamification uh, show, was showing that the, the employee, employees will be uh, more more engaged in the solution. As I was saying at the beginning, intuitivity is something important, but of course, if you have a solution, you try, that's the employees are so using that, otherwise you just invent for, for nothing. So this is a, a way also to bring more, more uh, attraction for them. So we're using just the employee, if they do a very nice action, like uh, freeing up meeting spaces early or, or just cancelling the, the meeting if they don't use or being on time, they just get points. And there is also a, an open rank list, a leaderboard, where you always see who is on the, on the top. Of course, you cannot use an org company, so it could be deactivate, deactivated. Um, so it was really showing more engagement and more that the employee was aware about the company resources, which is, which is good, that's cost. As well, what I was showing in the, the, the tablet on the front were also showing us that, uh, that the um, employees uh, were also more aware and for, uh, on, the, on, the old, on the old solution and how they, they reserved the rooms. Quite quick. Um, there are different components available. As I say, there is this, uh, this on the front, this tablet, it's iPad, standard iPad, where, where the people just check in and see the availability. If it's occupied, they can see other rooms which are free in the near, near area and uh, all the stuff like that. We use this beacon sensor. Uh, but on mobile is on Android and on iOS. And we have as well a plugin for Outlook. Solution could be installed in different environments, hosted, cloud, whether in Azure, we are in Azure already, or hosted by one of our partners, that could be possible, or on premises. Working today with Exchange, so actually the system uh, doesn't create their invitation by their own. We use just everything from Exchange. We just add the different parameters we need and the, 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 the different to control the, um, this, these meetings. And uh, very soon in Google as well. So as conclusion, um, the, this solution really helps companies to optimize their resources. When I say resources are really cost space, time, and also uh, join the company on their digital uh, transformation, which is, of course, today, and we heard that everywhere. So uh, I had only 10 minutes. I'd, I hope I was not too quick, but it's quite easy to understand. <laughs> it's not so really uh, complicated that everybody can use that. That's important. Okay, Gabriele. So. Uh, if there are any questions about this topic, about efficiency and how getting closer to the needs and to understand better the behaviors of employees could help a company. I'm still here after, so if you decide if you, something is coming in your head, you, know, uh, you can ask me after or even during the cocktail. Yeah, maybe you can also show the I don't the drink too much. <laughs> I maybe then you don't show the, the board of, uh, yeah. from the game. <laughs> okay. Good. So uh, thank, thank you very, you very much. much, Gabriele. Thank you very much.